Hello! Today we're going to assemble an alpha loop antenna from alphaantenna.com. It comes in this duffel bag which has some carrying handles as well as a shoulder strap. We'll go ahead and open it up here. Inside the first thing we find is the user guide. The user guide should be fairly easy to read. If not, please feel free to provide us feedback for anything at all. Also inside of the bag, you'll find a tripod that you can mount the alpha loop on. Next thing to come out of this bag here is the alpha match. Set that aside for just a moment. The inner loop. The selfie stick. first outer loop, and there is another one, it's the optional booster cable. We'll set that aside for now, we'll use that later. Also, or something that's very unique to the alpha loop, it's these insulators, these nylon insulators, we'll go ahead and set those down. Now, the easiest way to assemble this is to go ahead and start with the selfie stick and install it by screwing it directly onto the alpha match. You notice that perhaps this part here isn't facing forward. You can simply grip this and turn it till it is. So you'll have the front aligned with the front of the alpha match. Go ahead and install this inner loop first. There's, there's a simple thumb screw here that I'm turning now. And that's that. Set that down. Go ahead and take the Velcro off. Notice how I'm keeping this fairly even as I unravel the coax. So now that it's uncoiled, notice the little small things that I'm doing it just makes it a little bit easier. What I did there was I pulled these connectors out slightly. Here's why. Notice that I'm going to turn this upside down. I'm going to let gravity do the work. And I'm going to connect one connector to one side. Then I'll connect the other connector to the other side of the alpha match. Still letting gravity do all the work. Okay, we're almost done. Now, we go ahead and extend this selfie stick slightly by flipping these securing tabs out and then we push them back together. Flip the whole loop back over again. Just set that up there in the channel for now. Do a little more lining if you need to. Go ahead and pull the nylon insulator out. These nylon insulators then simply slide and turn and click. We'll do another one. Turn so that it slides between these two pieces of the coax. Notice how it's between. There's also close-ups in the manual. Turn it and click. Now you have assembled the 10 through 40 meter high-powered alpha loop. This can then be installed on top of the tripod. The way I like to do that is I just simply lift the whole system up, then I spin the tripod, and there that whole thing is assembled. Notice also that the tripod can be extended up to be one loop diameter in total. Go ahead and put that aside for now, because we're also going to show you in this video how to add the 60, 40, and 80 meter booster cable. 
go ahead and lay this on the table. I'll disconnect one side of these PL259s from the alpha match. I'll take off these clips. Once those two nylon clips are removed, you can then go ahead and get your 40 through 80 meter booster cable distinguished by a white label that says 40 hyphen 80. Go ahead and take this Velcro off. There we go. I'm going to unravel this booster cable in much the same way. This way it uh, stays coiled real nicely. we go. Okay, now it's easier to do it on a table or you can use the ground. We're going to go ahead and use the table right now. Notice that on the booster cable there is a barrel connector. That barrel connector is going to connect to the PL259 that we removed from the alpha match. So here we go. Barrel connector. PL259 from the original loop. We'll go ahead and connect those together. And we only have one end that's loose, and that end that's loose now is the other end of the booster cable. Can you guess where that's going? Into the alpha match. Okay. Now, once this is inside the alpha match, you screw that securely. And we concluded extra nylon insulators in the bag. These extra nylon insulators enable you to more easily position the, uh, the coax seals that are now forming two loops. Okay, so go ahead and grab one of the insulators. Just to start it all off, lift the alpha loop up. And this is why you're going to use a tripod. I'll show you in just a minute. Go ahead and secure the inner loop first with the nylon insulators. Lift one here and then we'll go ahead and grab the other one here. Secure that one. Here we go. Now we'll take another of these nylon insulators and the outer loops typically are pretty good when you put them here at one o'clock. Then we'll move over here to about eleven o'clock. And this is why you need the tripod. Notice how this now hangs down below the match. So I'll go ahead and put this on the tripod by spinning the tripod, not the loop. So much easier to do that. And then I'll install the last of the two nylon insulators. Last of the two nylon insulators can go right about at three o'clock here. And they just clip on. And right over here, it'll straighten it all out. We'll go ahead and put this at the adjacent connection point. Do a little bit of straightening, not much. And we're done. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. And remember, go to www.alphaantenna.com for more technical information or contact us at support at alphaantenna.com if you have any questions at all or call 1-888-482-3249.